What's going on guys, Doolum here, back again with another video, and today we've got Mephisto kit reveal. We also have the Leader and Iron Patriot kit reveals coming out to you, so a lot of information going to be here. I'm super excited for this one. We all know I love Cosmic Crucible, so we got a CC team in the Cabal, and then Mephisto is going to be used absolutely everywhere. I'm super excited for this one, so if you guys are ready, let's get into it. Kicking off the video, we're going to be talking about Mephisto, and as you guys would expect, he is freaking nuts. Uh, he's got a really cool new mechanic uh, that's just absolutely awesome. But starting off with traits, you see he's going to be a villain, cosmic, mystic, protector, and mythic. I get those mixed up a lot because I'm dumb, but mystic, so he's going to be taking mystic gear, and then obviously protector, and then mythic tag, so he'll have that mythic tag. Um, so let's go down to his passive called In the Details because this is the start of his uh, kit, essentially. So you'll see this character cannot be revived. While this character is alive, allies and enemies cannot be revived. So no one can be revived while this character is alive. So that uh, negates the Dormammu, that negates Zombie Iron Man, the Undying, all that kind of stuff. Super, super cool as long as he's alive. And killing him first is going to be no easy task. So on spawn, if this character is not a clone and does not have exhausted, gain 666% speed until this character's first turn. If this character has any mythic enemies, gain charged. On this character's first turn, if this character is not a clone and does not have exhausted, become empowered. Empowered is going to be something that is incredibly cool with his kit because he is just nuts with his empowered. And we'll talk about that a little bit down below. The first time this character gains stun, clear stun, and heal self and all allies for 20% of this character's max health. So this is kind of like Super Scroll, but this is putting a line in there saying the first time, which is the way Super Scroll works. He just doesn't have that line in his kit. So they're being proactive here, which is great. When this character or an ally drops below 20% max health, clear taunt from that character. On any summon death, gain plus one, non-summon death, gain plus one charge up to a maximum of 10. For each charged, gain 10% bonus armor, damage, focus, and resist. So every time he's getting a charge, uh, he's going to become tankier and tankier and tankier. So you're going to want to try to kill him first. But again, not an easy thing. Uh, gain 50% max health. Allies gain 20% max health. Enemies cannot gain stealth. So that's going to negate Super Scroll with his special, having stealth right off a rip, which is great. And then enemies with exposed cannot fill speed bar for themselves or allies. And this does not apply to speed bar gain through normal means. So this is obviously people getting speed bar through their normal speed mechanics is going to keep happening. But things like Super Scroll cannot gain speed bar um, for themselves, which is going to be through his passive or anything like that. Uh, empowered basic. So this is going to be his, his first turn is his empowered basic because he's gaining that 600% turn meter right off rip. And then we'll see the empowered basic, uh, or special or ult, depending on what we have. So for the entire, the empowered basic, it's called contract from below. So you're going to attack the primary target for 50% of the target's max health, applying two vulnerable. This damage reduces the max health of the target by the same amount. So as you can see here, he's going to put this ability on one person, this is basic, and they're going to have 50% max health lowered. So if somebody has 5 million health, they now have 2.5 million health max. So that cannot get healed back up to get back up to that 5 million. Their max is essentially lower, which is absolutely insane. So this negates any healing effects that could happen to negate the first attack that Mephisto has. Uh, he's also going to gain three charged, and then he's losing his empowered. <clears throat> and remember, this gaining three charge is going to give him more focus, more armor, damage, and resist. It's 10% per charge. Um, <clears throat> the ISO attack you can see here is going to be relatively normal what it's going to have uh, as all other iso attacks are on crit he's going to gain three regenerations for two turns gain immunity up to a maximum of three and if this character has ability block this attack always crits but i don't see this character ever having ability block because he's going first because he's going to be empowered because he has that 600 percent turn meter but it is what it is this attack is unavoidable and cannot be blocked or counterattacked, which is really nice the special, the empowered special, is going to apply exposed to primary target and adjacent enemies. 
apply expose to all mythic enemies. And if you remember, applying expose means enemies who expose cannot fill speed bar for themselves or allies. This does not apply to speed bar gain through normal means. So this means you can put an exposed on super scroll right off rip and his uh, passive does not mean anything anymore. Nice. We love that. Um, gained one charge, lose empowered, uh, enemies with exposed, again, cannot fill speed bar for themselves or allies. This effect persists as long as this character is alive and he's going to be alive for a long time. His ultimate empowered is going to be applying exhausted to all enemies. Yes, applying exhausted. Turn one, first turn right off rip. It's nuts. Uh, and then the empowered passive in the details is going to be this character cannot be revived. Same thing. But after he loses his empowered, apply for the following two turns to self and all allies. Safeguard for two turns, defense up for two turns, and offense up for two turns. Apply three death proof to self and all allies. Apply trauma, defense down, offense down, and three bleeds to all enemies. Apply the battlefield effect called Mark of the Mephisto, which is going to do on non-summoned ally or enemy death, Gain one charge for up to a maximum of 10. For each charge, gain the 10%. We talked about that up above. But on any turn, his battlefield effect is going to barrier all allies for 5% of this character's max health. Allies gain 50% drain and armor. So they're going to be able to be way tankier because they're getting 50% armor. They're also going to have some lifesteal because they're all going to have 50% drain. Allies can also not gain trauma while mark of the mephisto is out allies cannot have their speed bar reduced as well so super scroll special the speed bar reduction doesn't work quicksilver special does not work black cat basic or uh iso attack does not work and this battlefield effect lasts until cleared or until the end of the match this is going to be absolutely nuts when it comes to him because he's going to be there for the entire match it's not when he dies. It's there until it's cleared or until the match is over. So let's scroll up now that we got the passive. Let's go to his basic. It's going to be Malevolent Strikes. So it's going to be attacking primary target for 300% damage and applying two bleed for two turns and defense down for one turn. This damage reduces the max health target by the same amount. So this is just like his passive, uh, his empowered basic. But this is going to hit multiple people, as you can see here. Rebound chain to two adjacent enemies for 250% damage and apply two plus bleeds for two turns and defense down for one turn. This damage reduces the max health of any targets by the same amount. So this is going to continually lower the max health of everybody on the field. So it's going to literally drop their max health. So healing does absolutely nothing against Mephisto, which is a really cool mechanic. Um, if this character has ability block, this attack always crits as well. Uh, this attack is unavoidable, cannot be blocked, and cannot be counterattacked. The ISO attack is pretty much the same as we read before. The special is Hellfire Blast 3-3, three, three, so you're going to be able to use this turn 1. Attack primary target for 500% damage and clear 3 positive effects. And apply trauma for 1 turn and disrupt it for 2 turns. This damage reduces the max health of the target by the same amount. So again, that max health reduction is just so, so nuts. It's so strong. Um, for this character and all Ghost Rider, Ghost Rider Cosmic, and Ghost Rider Robbie allies, you're also going to flip all negative effects to positive effects, heal 20% of this character's max health, fill speed bar by 20%, and if this character has any hero allies, apply taunt to two turns to all hero allies. If this character does not have any hero allies, apply taunt to two turn for two turns to the villain with the highest health. Apply defense up for two turns to self and all allies. Mind control the enemy with the highest damage to attack the primary target. The controlled character gains 50% damage as well, which is going to give it even more damage. And apply offense down for two turns to all enemies. Uh, this special is freaking nuts, dude. It's so, so good. Uh, and then we'll go to the ultimate. Is going to be 3-6, Revenge of the Damned. And we have, for all mythic enemies, apply vulnerable, flip immunity, and apply ability block for two turns. So this is all mythic enemies, period. Everybody on the field. Uh, attack all enemies for 750% damage, plus apply trauma for two turns. 
This damage reduces max health of the target by the same amount. And this is every target. So his max health 750% damage ult is going to reduce the max health of every single person hit, which is everybody, by the same amount of damage being dealt out. Clear all battlefield effects on the allied side and apply the battlefield effect Mark of the Mephisto. So this is going to override any Nova abilities that might already be out there to make sure you have the better one, which is going to be Mark of the Mephisto. And then we also already talked about the Mark of the Mephisto being out there. Allies cannot gain trauma. Allies gain 50% drain and armor and all the other goodies that come with it. So Mephisto is absolutely nuts. Uh, you'll see his animations that I put up here as well. Uh, Mephisto's so, so damn good. Uh, his animations are absolutely badass, and this character is going to be meta-defining for a very long time because he's going to be lowering that max health for all characters. So they're just going to be so much weaker, and it's going to make your characters tankier with that armor and that 50% drain once that mark of the Mephisto is out there. So Mephisto is going to be absolutely nuts and I'm super excited to see how he impacts the game everywhere and how we're able to theorycraft with him. Next up, we're going to be talking about Iron Patriot and his traits are going to be Villain, Global, Tech, Blaster, and Cabal. And remember, he's going to be part of the new Cosmic Crucible team with uh, under the Cabal tag. That's going to be with Le the leader, who we're also going to be talking about, and then Namor as well, who's getting a little bit of a rework and just getting his um, stats buffed a little bit. And then he is getting most of his war uh, kit stuff added to CC, so he's going to rewind and all that kind of good stuff. Um, but kicking off with the basic Patriotic Fury, attack primary and adjacent targets for 300% damage and apply defense down for two turns. When this character performs an ISO attack, counterattack, or assist, clear immunity, clear striker here, uh, apply defense down for two turns, heal block for two turns, disrupted for two turns, and slow for two turns. So an absolutely nuts counter assist, uh, honestly. Probably one of the best counter assists in the game. Uh, his special is going to be stars and strikes. Energy cost, 5-5. Five, five. Attack all enemies for 300% piercing and clear all positive effects. And this is going to go off turn 1, so clearing all the positive effects is going to be really nice. Apply one vulnerable up to a maximum of 5 and one defense down up to a maximum of 3 to each target. So he's going to be giving out vulnerables uh, for himself to proc on, which is really nice. So him as striker is going to be great. So it's kind of like how uh, Iron Man Infinity War does his. He puts out the vulnerable and then he can striker attack into his own. In Crucible, it's also going to apply trauma for two turns to all enemies. And it's gaining an extra 500% focus for this attack. This attack cannot be dodged. Um, this extra focus is also nice. So at lower stars, he's going to work really well in Crucible. So you might have to make him a little bit bigger to have some plug and play ability outside of Crucible. Um, but the only thing being tied behind Crucible is the trauma and the extra focus and it not being dodged is actually kind of nice. Uh, the ultimate is Proton Cannon. Energy cost 4, 6. Flip Deflect and Minor Deflect on primary and adjacent targets. Attack primary and adjacent targets for 400% piercing and apply 2 plus vulnerable up to a maximum of 5. Defense down for 2 turns, heal block for 2 turns, and 2 bleed. Also apply stun to the primary target. So this ult's pretty nasty, honestly. They're going to have a lot of defense downs. And again, the applying his own two vulnerables that he's going to be able to striker attack into himself is also really nice. And this means everybody else can be strikers too because he's putting out so many vulnerables himself that it doesn't really matter that everybody else puts out vulnerables for him. He's putting out his own for himself and for others. Uh, his passive is going to be Iron Osborne. On spawn, apply one vulnerable to all enemies up to a maximum of five. Again, it's like a Kang passive, essentially, but he doesn't need allies to do it. So it's plug and play, any game mode. That's pretty awesome. Cannot be blocked or dodged. Uh, gain assist now on each Cabal ally's turn. So he's going to be gaining that assist over and over and over again for this uh, ISO attack counter assist. He's going to be assisting over and over again, clearing the immunity, applying defense down, heal block, disrupted, slows. So who you target is going to be really important with this team. Uh, and then also... 
on turn. Grant assist now to a random Cabal ally for them to attack as well. Enemies with Vulnerable take an additional 10% per Vulnerable, which is normal, but it's up to a 30% maximum. So this is going to stack for the first time ever in Marvel Strike Force. Uh, usually it's just 10% flat, even if they have 7 Vulnerables, but now it's going to stack as well. So putting out as much as Vulnerables as possible is going to be good for this team, because then it's just a 30% stat damage boost to your team. Uh, if this character has two or more Cabal allies, enemies cannot gain stealth. Again, just like we talked about with Mephisto, not being able to gain stealth, that can be a, a counter to Super Scroll, which would be really nice. Gain 50% damage, 50% focus, and villain allies gain another 50% focus. And then in Crucible, villain allies gain 50% damage. If this character has two or more Cabal allies, this character and all villain allies gain 100% accuracy, which this will counter any blinds, uh, any charge mechanic from Weaver. So this is going to be kind of like how new warriors are. They gain that extra 100% accuracy to be able to counter um, anything like that, which is really nice. Death Seed, if we ever see Death Seed on defense again, which I doubt it. But this guy, this guy's kit is pretty nuts, honestly. It's super straightforward. It's not a book. It reads super easy. So I'm really stoked for Iron Patriot. There's actually two more lines uh, below on the passive for Iron Patriot, and it's going to be if this character has two or more Cabal allies, enemies with uh, enemy characters with Vulnerable cannot fill speed bar for themselves. Uh, I'm genuinely curious if this is Super Scroll's own passive would mean that they, he can't fill speed bar, um, and other people filling speed bar as well would be pretty interesting. Um, and then also on villain ally crit, apply one vulnerable to all enemies up to a max of five. So having others as raiders is going to help because it's going to put more vulnerables out there. Uh, and it will add another vulnerable to them. And remember, the vulnerable stacking will do extra damage. And then when they have vulnerable, they can't fill speed bar for themselves. So it's actually a nice added bonus. Next up, we're going to be talking about the leader. His traits are going to be villain, global, support, bio, cabal, and gamma with a speed of 107. Uh, his basic is calculated. Next up, we're going to be talking about the leader. His traits are going to be shot. It's going to attack the primary target for 300% damage, heal self and all villain and gamma allies for 10% of this character's max health, clear one negative effect from self and all villain allies. He's already screaming striker to me. Gain an assist from a random cabal or gamma ally. And when this character performs an ISO 8 attack, counter assist, flip two negative effects into positive effects on self and all Cabal allies, and gain stealth for two turns. Once again, Striker is pretty much shooing here. Uh, you can see his basic ISO counter assist is pretty much the exact same thing. Uh, we'll scroll down here. You can see his special. Seek and Destroy is going to go off turn one. It's a 5 5. It's apply three regeneration to self and all villain allies. Heal self and all allies for 20% of this character's max health. Attack primary target for 350% damage. And call two villain allies that have the highest damage that do not have assist now to attack the primary target. Those allies gain another additional 25% damage for this attack as well. And then specifically in Crucible, you're going to apply Safeguard to self and all villain and gamma allies. If this character has two or more Cabal allies, prolong the duration of all positive effects on self and all Cabal and villain allies up by one. Um, so you can see here there's a lot, of, a lot of synergy with Gamma specifically as well since he does have the Gamma trait. So maybe being able to take out like Abomination or um, She-Hulk would be kind of nice and throw him in with a Gamma team. Maybe even in War as well. Um, this could be some nice little hybridization to help uh, give... Gamma, another cleansing effect that is better and controllable. That's not She-Hulk, but it's based off of the uh, pings. So maybe you can go against a Nowhere and still be able to clear things, since obviously She-Hulk will never have the uh, charges when you're in war because of... Uh, because of Thor Infinity War. Uh, the ultimate, Mind Over Matter. Energy cost, 5-7. Apply speed up for two turns. And two, uh, plus two counter to self and all villain allies. You're going to clear revive once from the primary and adjacent targets. Attack primary and adjacent targets for 350% damage. And bury yourself in all villain allies for 15% of this character's max health. You're also going to generate three ability energy for all Cabal allies. Which is pretty nuts because that means you're going to be able... He's going to be going last... Uh, because the speed is 107. And then you're also going to be able to refill the energy for um, the other two members of Cabal, which is going to be Namor and uh, Iron Patriot. So after they've used all of their abilities, then you're going to give an extra three ability energy uh, to Cabal members. And then in Crucible, it's an extra three ability energy to all villain allies as well. 
So this is really nice because this is going to throw open some additions such as um, maybe you'll have Doom, you know, Apocalypse if we have another room where you can't ultimate really quickly, or uh, just in general throwing ability energy to a lot of villains is really, really nice. Um, I can see this working well with Mephisto as well because he does not have ult turn one. Uh, he doesn't even have it turn two. He actually gets it turn three. So this would be helpful for him. Super scroll to get to there earlier. Um, and then for his passive, two steps ahead. On spawn, apply three evade. Apply defense up for two turns and self to self and all villain allies. Apply safeguard to self and all cabal allies. And that's outside of war as well, or outside of cross my crucible as well. So that's really nice. On spawn uh, and on turn, gain one charge up to a maximum of 50 for the following, uh, for each of the, uh, for each ally with a different class. So they're utilizing the class system for the first time ever. Um, so if you have blasters, brawler, controller, protector, anything like that for each unique class. So it's giving us a lot more, um, a lot more benefits for using plug and play and using a lot of theory crafting, which is what Cosmic Crucible is about. For, and then for each Cabal ally, for each hero, enemy gain plus two charged instead. Uh, when this enemy or when this character or any Cabal ally drops below 50% max health for the first time, do the following to that character. Flip all disrupted, apply stealth and defense up and barrier for 10% of this character's max health. So health triggers, my absolute favorite. Until this character takes a turn on enemy turn, barrier self and all villain allies for 10% of this character's max health. So he's going to be taking his first turn slow. So he's going to be giving 10% max health as barrier on every enemy turn. So it's going to be giving them survivability uh, if they're slow. Uh, if the other team that they're going against is fast as well. In Crucible, if this character has two or more Cabal allies, enemies with Vulnerable cannot gain Safeguard. We've already talked about this in Iron Patriots kit. They're always going to have Vulnerable, so they're never going to gain Safeguard. Um, for every five charged, gain 5% crit chance, 5% crit damage, and 5% uh, block chance for self and all villain allies. And then gain 50% max health and 50% armor. And then in Crucible, villain allies gain 50% health and an additional 50% armor. So you can see these, these guys are going to be really, really good in cosmic crucible. Obviously I'm super excited to see how, uh, the plug and playability of putting a leader in with gamma is going to be, I'm really interested to see that. And I'm interested to see how we're going to be able to figure out ways to kind of bolster other villains that are not just the cabal. Um, so we can see how good this team really can be. The last member of the Cabal team is going to be Namor, and he's going to be getting an update. So his health stat is going up by 18%. His damage stat is going up by 26%. His base armor stat, 7%. Focus, 31 And resistance, 6 Uh, Not the craziest numbers ever, honestly, compared to a rework, especially for a character like Namor, who's as old as he is. But we'll see if it's impactful in-game. I'm sure it will be, knowing Scopely. We haven't really had any issues with reworks being underpowered or feeling not worth building as part of the team. Um, but as you can see, basic for Neptune's Trident, what's changing is going to be applying heal block for two turns and bleed for one turn. Uh, so it already screams striker because of the extra bleeds. When this character provides an ISO aid attack, counterattack, or an assist, this attack always crits. Uh, apply additional two bleed. That's awesome too. And I, if I'm not mistaken, it's either in iron, I think it's an iron Patriots. If any cabal ally crits, it automatically puts another vulnerable as well. So this is going to automatically crit as well, even if he's not a Raider. And then it's going to put the extra vulnerable as if he is a Raider, which is a really cool mechanic um, for his special Tidal Wave. Uh, the new one is going to be bonus attack two times to primary and adjacent targets for 100% piercing. And in Crucible, primary and secondary attacks apply bleed to the primary and adjacent targets. Again, more bleeds. Scream, scream, scream striker for me. Um, Raider, maybe for the primary and adjacent, um, just because it's uh, AoE and his ult is also AoE with that giganto thing. It's like a whale or whatever. I don't know. Um, and then you'll see for his ult change... Um, New changes here. Attack all enemies for 300% damage. Flip all positive effects on each target. Reduce speed bar for all enemies that have vulnerable by 50%. On war offense, reduce speed bar. Obviously, that's been the same. And then this attack always crits. Again, 
He doesn't need to be a raider to crit, so these crits are going to be automatic. So he's putting out more vulnerables because of the Iron Patriot passive, which is really cool. And then his passive, unspawn, apply offense up for two turns, and de and two deflect to self and all Fantastic Four and our Cabal, Cabal allies. On self or villain ally crit, bear yourself and all villain allies for 5% of this character's max health. Uh, and apply speed up to self and all Cabal allies. Gain 30% damage. Uh, and then Fantastic Four and Cabal allies gain 30% damage as well. In Crucible, if this character has two or more Cabal allies, enemies cannot gain Death Proof, which is a direct call out to um, Secret Defenders and specifically Black Cat, which is really nice. Um, and this seems to be on spawn as well. So that's going to be a direct counter to Secret Defenders because we'll be able to rewind them super quickly and get in front of them and then just absolutely destroy that team. So all in all, the Namor reworks look pretty interesting. It looks like a lot of it's just War is moving over to Crucible. Anything for T Fantastic Four is now on Cabal. And then he's just getting a lot of bleeds, which is really nice. But that's going to be it for Namor. That's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this was a lot of information regarding Mephisto and the new Cabal team, including the Namor reworks, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you got a lot of information from this, and I want to see some ideas for you guys of what you think, how we're going to be able to theorycraft with good allies from Mephisto, who Mephisto is going to be able to counter, and don't just say everyone, and who we're going to be using as the fourth and fifth members on the Cabal team to be able to bolster any villain allies or anybody that is really useful with crits, such as Gamma allies as well, because of the leader. But until next time, this has been Doolum. Later, y'all.